All righty. All right. Welcome. This is the energy vibration love reading for the fire sign people. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. All right, fire sign people. Oopsie daisy. Let's see what is coming up for you, Aries, the or Sagittarian, in love. My apologies for last month. I had another operation on my eyes, so I could not be here. All right, let's see what is the major issues. A lot of you fire sign people could be thinking about someone in another place, another country, but financially you are having problem getting to this person or seeing this person, okay? Some of you could be waiting on your this person to send you some sort of a financial help. Maybe it's your husband, your wife, or a partner in another place, another country. All right, let's see what is coming up. So we see the energy of a lot of you wants to go and visit um, someone, your partner, um, and uh, this is a, um, a Virgo woman. Some of you could be in some sort of a relationship with a Virgo woman. And I see another energy. This person is financially having some sort of a financial problem. So a lot of you are having some sort of an issue with a Virgo woman. Maybe it's your wife, or your kids, um, mother or self. Okay. Then we have the energy of strength. A lot of you are trying to find strength. Um, to deal with the situation with your partner not being there financially for you. And I see a lot of you are um, um, having to support your wife or a child's, uh, um, your child mother in another place. Um, I see that they're going to be recognizing that a Virgo woman, a whole lot of deceptiveness, um, where a lot of you, you could be divorcing a Virgo woman and they're recognizing um, that this Virgo woman wants to take you guys down for a lot of money. The energy of the star is in the reverse. So I see a lot of you are dealing with a whole lot of problems with your marriage. Um, the energy also of the six of cups is in reverse. A lot of you, there's a whole lot of emotional imbalance in your relationship or your marriage. Um, then we see the energy. Um, this energy is 10 and 1 a um um this energy is the energy of um the seven of ones a whole lot of problems this is some sort of a major issue that is going to be coming down for a whole lot of you this major issue is uh, with your marriage a whole lot of people are having problems with their marriage some sort of a communication is going to be coming up and coming in. A lot of you are trying to balance out some sort of a problems with your marriage. Communication is coming in. A lot of you were in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. A lot of communication. I see a lot of you were hoping for some sort of a new start with someone, but it's not going to be happening. So a lot is going on, ladies and gentlemen, in the um, house of love for you guys. A whole lot seems to be transpiring. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go in and see. So what we're recognizing is that a lot of you wanted to uh, heal your marriage. There was some sort of a problem with your marriage. A lot of you wanted to heal it. A lot of you are definitely trying to find inner strength to deal with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. A lot of you were hoping to reconnect with this person, all right, because you're still in love with this person. Whoever this uh, a Virgo woman is, a lot of you are still in love with this Virgo woman or this Virgo woman. Um, a Virgo woman is going to be letting you guys know that they're still in love with you. Karma. A lot of you are in some sort of a karmatic relationship and this karmatic relationship is affecting the Leos and the Sagittarian. Leos and Sagittarians, you're in karmatic relationship. Then we see not today. I see a lot of you who are in a relationship with a Taurus or a Virgo, um, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Gemini and um, a 
a scorpion they're like um you know i you know i'm not i'm not in love with you um and i see that they are not taking your calls so some of you who are having an issue with a virgo um a gemini a taurus or a Libran, they are not in love with you. They're blocking you. They're not taking your calls in the month, okay? Uh, the Swords of Rose is here, and the energy of the Swords of Rose is have to do with problems in a lot of you. Marriages uh, is uh, um, deceptiveness, cheating, um, where it's going to be coming up that your husband or wife have been cheating. Seductive. Uh, seductive. A lot of you are going to be recognizing that a cancer and a scorpion have seduced you. Um, there, you know, whoever this uh, cancer and scorpion is, is very seductive. So it's coming up. And the last energy is that some of you had a hope to reconnect with someone and you went out for coffee trying um, to make your feelings be known to this person. Um, but, you know, they doesn't see you in that light and it's going to be coming out. All right. So Aries, what are you dealing with? Aries are in love with Pisces, Taurus and Gemini. You Aries are in love with Pisces, um, uh, Taurus and Gemini. But are they in love with you? So that's what you Aries are uh, dealing with. Then you Aries are having some sort of an issue with um, um, an Aquarian and a Gemini. Whatever is transpiring, a lot of you Aries are having some sort of an issue. Um, if you're in a relationship with an Aquarian and a Gemini, there is some sort of an issue that you're dealing with. Some of you Aries could be finding out that uh, um, the um, Aquarian or uh, is in love with a Gemini and you are either married or in love with these people. Then I see the energy of the divorce could be coming up if you Aries or in a marriage um, with a Gemini. This person could be asking you for some sort of a divorce. Okay, let's look at the Leos. The Leos, the Leos are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person, and it is a karmatic situation. It's a karmatic relationship. I see that this person is no longer in love with you, Leos, and this person is a Capricorn, a Capricorn. And I see that whoever this Capricorn is, you, Leos, was in love with this Capricorn because they were financially stable, but this Capricorn is no longer showing any love to a lot of you, Leos, and you're recognizing it's time to move on. Then we recognize Sagittarian, a Sagittarian. And I see a Sagittarian that was married to some of you, Aries. The Sagittarian is going to be leaving you for a Gemini. Then we see the Aries and the Cancers. And the Aries and the Cancer is as if some of you Aries were in some sort of a relationship with a Sagittarian, whatever is happening and transpiring. I see that you Aries are going to be recognizing that a Cancer have cheated with a Capricorn, okay? And this was a karmatic relationship. This Cancer and this Capricorn have a karmatic relationship and that um, your husband or wife, the Cancer, had cheated with a Capricorn. Oh, Capricorn is coming up. Then they're going to be recognizing that... Uh, a Gemini is still in love with a Capricorn. So a lot of you who are in some sort of a relationship with a Gemini, um, you know, you're going to be recognizing that the Gemini wants to communicate and has been going out and having cafe, coffee with this Capricorn. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing that, okay? So um, there's a lot of issues and situation that is going to be coming up now, the energy with um, regrets, a lot of you regrets a situation with a um, Pisces and a Cancer. Whatever has transpired is as if you could have um, gone out for coffee or gone out to have uh, coffee because the energy of coffee is here. And you kind of regret this because it's as if uh, um, you have some sort of a feelings for them, but they do not have it for you. Then we're looking at the Sagittarian and the Cancers and the problems with the Sagittarian and the Cancers 
I see the Sagittarians are going to be communicating something to the Cancer. Like, um, you know, I really have feelings for you, but the, the Cancer is not... Uh, um, uh, the cancer is not interested, but it's as if this person doesn't really want to say what is happening. So we see Uranus and the energy of the bull. Uranus and the energy of the bull is coming up where um, a, um, a family, uh, someone who is connected to your family that is an Aquarian could be in love with with um some of you and it's not really showing up is that um what is showing up is that this aquarium is connected to the family but they're really in love with some of you then we have the energy of uranius and the cancers and uh it's as if uh, if you was married or in a relationship with a cancer a cancer was seen an um an aquarium but it is now over Whatever is transpiring, that is now over. There's no communication between the two anymore. Then Aries, you seem to be coming up. Aries and Cancers, um, your marriage or relationship is uh, um, changing. The energy of your marriage and relationship is really changing um, for Aries who are married to Cancer. There is a huge change within the marriage and the relationship between you and this person. Um, because what we're recognizing is that you Aries, your marriage is not what it used to be with a cancer, a whole lot of problems. So Aries that is married to cancer, you are uh, dealing with a whole lot of cancer, a whole lot of problems. A lot of you are recognizing that your marriage with a cancer is over, but it's as if you're you're still trying to pick up the pieces of what is happening and transpiring. But it is as if you need to recognize that uh, um it is now over, and you're pulling this thing out and out and out, and you need to let it go. So Aries, a lot of you Aries are going to be falling in love with the Pisces, the Taurus, and the Gemini's. It's as if you're in love with these people. And some of you um, are so in love with these people, but you don't want to say this to them. The Leos, you are dealing with a, a Capricorn woman. Whoever this Capricorn woman is, I see that people or this Capricorn woman is as if it is over. You know, whatever we share, it is now over and I want to move on and you need to find um, the inner strength to move on because, you know, you, Leos, was only in love with this person because of their financial stability and the, these people are now recognizing um, or this woman is recognizing, hey, you know, it's all about you, you know, wanting to be with me because of my status and um, that is not where I am. So the basis of this reading is really clear. It's a really clear cut reading and it's all about uh, um, what is being affecting the lives and a lot of communication. People are going to be clearing up crinkles with each other. So what we mean by this is that people are just going to be um, clearing up certain issues in their marriage and relationship. And a lot of people who are married to cancer people are having a whole lot of problems. So not today. It's a situation where a lot of you and someone is going to be blocked for you. If, if you're in a Virgo, I see a lot of you dealing with a lot of Virgos. Okay. And um, Sagittarians and Virgos. Sagittarians who are in relationship with Virgos is very uh, karmatic and the, the Virgos are like kind of blocking you and said, you know, let it go, Saggy, because I no longer want to deal with this issue. Because if we're looking at the Virgo, a lot of you were in relationship with Virgos. I see a lot of you Aries are in love with the Virgos and I see a lot of you um, um, that is in a marriage or some sort of a situation a Virgo is now looking towards a Aquarian or some sort of a situation with an Aquarian and a Virgo. But it is a situation where this Virgo is uh, 
um, more in love with a Capricorn person for whatever it is. But um, I think some sort of information is going to be coming out. It's like an Aquarian is going to be saying, no, no, no. Um, the Sagittarius, the, the, the Capricorn and the, 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 the Gemini's, the Capricorns and the Gemini's, there is some sort of, a, um, affection between the Capricorns and the Gemini's. And it's as if this is going to be coming out and it's as if an Aquarian is going to be saying, Hey, um, do you know why the Virgo is behaving like that? Is that the Virgo had their eyes on a Capricorn, but a, a Gemini, and a Capricorn is in some sort of a relationship. It's as if, uh, you know, they were the one that was supposed to be together. They're in love. Uh, and they see each other quite frequently because they go out and have coffee. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing this. So, um, I see a Capricorn is coming up. It's as if a lot of you, especially um some sort of uh, definitely if you are married to a cancer you're going to be um realizing that a cancer had some sort of a karmatic affair or past life is um situation with a capricorn so a lot of you um it's going to be affecting you and i see especially aries that is married to a cancer so you're going to be recognizing that a Cancer and a Capricorn had a past life um, love connection. Okay, are they still together? They had, they must have had a one night stand or something like this, and then it is now over. But they are connected, and whoever this Capricorn is is no longer in the city or the place where you live. So this person is kind of out of your life, but you, it's as if now some of you Aries is going to be finding out, but this person has returned to another country or they live in another country because you can see um, that this person has returned and whoever this person is, is as if it was a short interval. It was nothing serious, but they have known each other in a past lifetime. So I see Sagittarians also are going to be Sagittarians and Ophiosas. Um, or I add past life, uh, past life connection also with a Capricorn, and um, and this situation is that a Sagittarian. Sagittarian or Ophiosus is recognizing this. A lot of you um, could have met this, whoever this Capricorn is, is from another country. Whoever this Gemini is, is from another country. Whoever a Cancer is, is from another country that some of you had past lives. So let's say that you met, uh, you Aries met a Taurus, a Gemini and a Cancer there from another country but you have had past life relationship with them. And I see um, the, these are, and especially if you are connected to people from other countries, you're, it is a, a situation where you're going to be recognized, oh my God, I have had past life interval with them. And, and this is going to be coming up. Karma, a lot of you once declare some sort of a karma with a Pisces and a Cancer, and it's in the house of karma. And I see some of you have gone out and coffee with this, these people, but it's as if the connection wasn't there. So however, this is going to be coming up and transpiring. It's as if you're going to be recognizing, you know, I had a lot of feelings, I had coffee with this person, but I recognize there is not really much there. A Cancer was trying to seduce a lot of you and um, whoever this cancer is, is as if this cancer could have been in a relationship with Yuli and have seduced an, um, an Aquarian person, but that didn't work out. And it's as if now some of you are recognizing, oh, so the Aquarian has set this person on the side and this is why they're coming back and giving me, um, the time of day. So that sort of a situation is going to be coming up. So, it is the energy of um, the sword and the roses. It is really um, the energy of the sword and the roses that is in, that is like the energy of uh, this month, the energy of the sword and the roses. So um, be aware um, and be just focus 
um, focus on what is going on in your relationship because you have the energy of the sword and the roses. And the sword of roses is about clarity, truth. And um, some of you um, could be traveling and some of you are going to be bringing back protection in your relationship because you recognize that whoever your partner was having an affair with, it is now over, okay? Wonderful, wonderful energies. And a lot of you are dealing with people who are from another country or another place. And um, these are the people that is basically affecting you. So they were born in another city, another place, another country. And that is what is happening. But it is the energy of the sword of the road. So be aware of what is coming up and happening. I do love you guys. I gotta go. Namaste. Until next time. Oh, mm -hmm.